Let's try this again, guys. We are here at the Freedom Rally in Haddingley, Manitoba. Look at this. What is coming together here, people? They are so happy, excited, coming to show their support. Oh, I'm going to get out of the way here. People are bringing food and bringing donations together. Guys, that is so exciting what they're bringing here. And all their donations. It is just very, very nice. I like that sign what she has. Freedom is essential. That is right. So there's more and more people are coming together and bringing food and donations and stuff like that. It is so good to see what is coming together here today and the people who are traveling and standing here. There's the mainstream media just absolutely lying. Look at that. Look at the mainstream media. Nothing but just absolutely lying here and having a mess here, carrying a mess. Look at this. What, what do they want here? They don't even report it. Like they do not report it. This is absolutely a lie. This is what mainstream media do. They have the mask up here in the open. They have their units. See? Look at this. That is our mainstream media. What should fight for us? They are not fighting for us. I don't know what the heck is going on. Lying, having a big mask on. That is what they need to take off. Yes, fake news. They were interviewing people with masks on. How can that be real? Well, Here? how can you understand it? How can you understand it? Good question. Good question. And, and we asked them to videotape, but no, they are lying. They are just lying son of a gun. This morning we were watching it. And uh, there's nothing saying anything about the news in the media. That is... You know, this whole thing is the most ridiculous thing that I ever heard in my life. I'm an indigenous man. Yeah. I've been driving truck for 28 years. 28 I, years? I have never, ever had any problems coming into Canada. Yeah. With the exception of last Monday. They stopped me at the border. They and now 24 hours really? at the border 24 hours right i produced them my driver's license i produced them my immunization card uh -huh. i produced them my uh my treaty card i handed them my uh my custom document to get cleared and they wouldn't give me my driver's license back they wouldn't do wow they wouldn't give me my document okay. wow guys this is a sad story and look at this what happened here in canada right now where is our freedom well this is what i'm saying <laughs> is the part that i have so pissed off is about is that in order to, for me to get back into canada they phoned the opp an ambulance took me to the hospital. No way. They took you to the hospital. And, and when I was got there, I was greeted by the crisis worker. And I said, they asked what? Me, what was I, what was happening? I told them everything that I had on me. And I said, they can't hold me. And, and, and they agreed with me. And I said that I can't leave yet because I have no driver's license there at the border. The crisis worker had to go back to get your driver license. My driver license and to bring it back to me. Wow. OPP paid my bus fare back to Winnipeg. Oh my God, guys! And this story, guys, this is the only story right now. And here he has a sticker from my YouTube channel. That is my YouTube channel. And guys, this is the story on my YouTube channel. I want you guys, please share this video. This is what happens here in Canada. It is our right, our freedom, getting taken away here from us. Guys, please share this story as much as you can and, and show it what happens here. Look at this. Ontario. Fully humanized. Yes, fully humanized. And they still stop me at the border. 
full human eyes still stuck to an apple border, guys. I do not know. But please share this story. What is your name? Do you want to tell, uh, tell the people what your name is? My name is Ernie Lewis. Ernie Lewis. Guys, if you see Ernie Lewis, please greet him and show him your support. But Canada. Okay. Tomorrow at 2 o'clock at the, at the uh, courts, I'm arguing this particular case that happened in July 5th. The same scenario. Tomorrow, at, guys. At 2 o'clock. If you're in Winnipeg or yes, in, in Winnipeg. In Winnipeg at a court case, guys. If you have a chance, yeah. please get there and, and uh, help uh, people with that. Yeah. Guys, that is for now. We'll show you more to come.